everybody, this is Arnavus98, and here is a drift from a Transformers for Age of Extinction. This is my third Transformer from Age of Extinction after Scorn and Crosshairs, which are my most like popular videos on my channel currently. So yeah, here you go. Here's Drift, and he is in his um, car mode. He is, and he is a Bugatti. Yeah. Uh, this guy was so hard to make, cause like, Age of Extinction designs are so tricky to make, like, like, <clears throat> there's like, barely any vehicle mode parts on, on the robot modes, and like, they look so humanoid, like, it's probably cause everyone's complaining, oh, they look too alien from like, the first movies, I was actually perfectly fine how they look, and it makes the transform transformation and toys like, really like, kibbly and stuff, especially, yeah, this guy took a while to like, um, <clears throat> plan out everything and it took hours on certain parts and stuff so I'm really glad how he turned out here yeah this is vehicle mode I really like vehicle mode both modes are really good I, I pulled it off pretty well I want to do a 360 yeah uh yeah funny thing like I didn't know drifts like uh in his vehicle mode like he this part was all black I thought it was just the darker blue and a light blue, like the toy had it. I actually never know until I looked at the picture. It's like wow, but it does save me a lot of parts. It's mo a lot, of, I have a lot of black parts, so yeah. I don't know. Its color is kind of weird because like in, the blue isn't really dark blue. It's more like oh here's some parts I have. I have like yeah these two colors, light blue. I have in the az this is like azure I think. Yeah, this is a darker kind. This kind of works better for drift. But I don't have any pe that many pieces in in this color, and this one's too light, so I just stuck with regular blue. Cause and plus, it looks better in robot mode. Uh, one thing is like uh, drift. Like I don't know. Besides like like unrealistic parts like forming everywhere. Like here's this uh, CGI right here. I think. Yeah, look. It's just like wheels. Both wheels end up. All four wheels end up on his legs like that, and that's kind of like impossible to do. And plus, he has like no backpack. And yeah, uh, he also like in robot mode. He goes to instead of like he also like changes colors. I think it's really weird. In robot mode, he's like blue and like I don't know. I have the toy right here. Here's his toy. Yeah, sorry for talking for a while. Uh. Yeah, he kind of changed his color, because, like, in robot mode, he's, like, dark blue and light blue, but in vehicle mode, he's black and light blue or something, so... It's really weird where all the black stuff part disappear from, so... It's really strange. That's why I haven't noticed that he was black in car mode. Alright, enough talking, so, um... Yeah, this is car mode, and I transform him. It's a huge pain to make. Yeah, here's the bottom. It's, it's, he's really compact, and... A lot of parts, and he's it kind of wide because these like side panels like stick out a bit. And one thing I I never noticed on the Bugatti like it's, it has it a, a kind of like a retractable spoiler, and I don't know the, the toy has a spoiler on, but in the movie I think the spoiler is down. I kept the spoiler on. I don't know. It kind of looks better, and yeah, I don't know what this thing's supposed to be in the real car. It looks kind of engine. I don't know. I really like that it came out and they, like air intakes. What are these things are called? It's nice and smooth. And the front, uh, his front round, roundish grill. Yeah, the front of the car looks not bad. Yeah, it looks a bit too square, but that's the best I could do. And then I transform him now. Uh, his transformation is like somewhat complex. It's also like, um, <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's a bit complex. So, uh, but and there's some like uh, clearance issues and stuff. First of all, you gotta take this sections and like form this shoulder armor. And then you gotta take the arms, fold them up, and pull the entire arm out for now. Yeah, this arm extension thing took me a while to figure out, and I'm gonna raise the camera. And yeah, alright, here, this part, just like this, yeah, most of the transpiration is based off the deluxe toy, and because it's probably like the best physical example of, of drift compared to what the movie it has. You fold this top section up and then you pull it away. You can see yeah, just like the toy, like these side panels come out and you revealing the middle. You take this entire back section, this will be his backpack. I'll deal with that later. And then here yeah, how the, yeah, everything here just compacts. Yeah, his head you fold up his head here. 
and all this here just compacts really nicely so yeah and then you can just bring the arms back just for now uh, so yeah and yeah I'm gonna work on the legs now the legs are really tricky to make like but and they also hold a lot of kibble on them so oh what am I gonna do now let's split them apart for now come to the back and then take these sections, the spoilers, and fold them out. And then, uh, yeah, you have to take these side sections, kind of just pull them a little bit to get them some clearance pass, and then rotate them down. And then you take this windshield part and fold it in on this hinge. And then you fold this, yeah, there's, an, there's another set of hinges here, it folds up, and this part just rests on these, like, rear headlights here. I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. So, uh, you got to pull them past this part, yeah, right. and then just rotate it out, fold the section in. Oh, wow. And then just push this back. And then, yeah. next, what you gotta do is um, fold this section to the side, like most of my transformers do. And fold this section, rotate this section here. Yeah, this will form as like sky, side, side skirts, like samurai armor stuff. And you do this side. Do, the <clears throat> do the same thing on the other side. Like that. And yeah. Mm, whoops. Yeah, how these legs extend that took me a while to figure out. They really, you gotta like, yeah, these parts fall off a lot. You gotta take this section, I'll just show you. You bend it down and extend the leg and then bend it. It's like on a double hinge. I'll give you, oh uh, yeah, a better view. Now the first one's done. Uh, you just, yeah, there's a hinge here. It's really stiff, so it's th mm, sometimes it comes off a lot, a lot. You fold that, you fold it up, and then, like that. And then, yeah, here it's his legs are done. Now I need to work on his uh, back kibble. Now, just like the tool, you take the entire back section, it's on this, like, um, piece here, and this entire section rotates around. And then I'm going to fold this part up and then this entire back section, um, just fold these uh, mirrors in. And then this entire back section folds uh, down. Oh, right, whoops, sorry about that. This entire back section folds down this car front. And then you split apart his arms for now. And this part where the engine used to be, where that thing is, it has a little cavity and it fits in exactly where it's like around his shoulders. You, put, you just put them in there and you put the arms back to where they are. And then, yeah, you leave this flap up. I think that's it. And here is a uh, drift in uh, robot mode. Yeah. Wow. I really like this robot mode also. And. Yeah, this is really tricky to compact all this kibble. I was originally gonna make all all these like yeah these like panels and the legs end up up here and then make the backpack look worse. It took me a while to figure out how to distribute all the kibble evenly. Yeah, I'm afraid I'm gonna be in big trouble when it comes to like Galvatron or like uh, lead, um, uh, Optimus Prime since like they have the their toys have tons of kibble. And yeah, here is Drift's toy in robot mode. Yeah. And yeah, this this backpack's really compact. I like it. So yeah, whatever. Oh. Uh yeah. Yeah, I have trouble dealing with this collar's robot mode because sometimes like there's he's like really like he's like um <clears throat> like uh the wait what was I gonna say um he's like. Yeah, dark gray and like black kind of like mixed together in, in, in like the CGI, so it's kind of confusing. So I mainly went with black, so.
Uh, yeah, this video came long, so I'm gonna show off his accessories first of all. He has his uh, large swords, and I'm just gonna show off articulation also. His arms are really articulated, so like, yeah, how how they form, they're like on this hinge. You can rotate them like rotate them like this and up, just like my standard Transformers can. But in addition, since he has this extra ball joint here, is like entire arm could fold inward like that he gets some pretty cool poses yeah and these swords are like the ninjago pieces i think they're the best like swords i think even though they're not like symmetrical ish and unfortunately his legs due to his kibble and his sky side skirts um they have really limited articulation. You can just bend in out this slight knee articulation and some rotation here. Yeah, unfortunately I have to sacrifice that because of all this kibble. And also he has these like sword things also go on his back, these sword holders. Yep. There you go. He's plugging them back. It's a bit of parts forming, but uh. And you, you could take him out and form his like, take, you can hold his like daggers. Oh. Yeah, there's drift with his accessories. Really nice. And yeah, no, he does not turn into a helicopter. That's uh, some kind of thing they added in last minute. And I don't know, it's kind of weird because, like, it, it's, it's really hard to make, like, uh, <clears throat> uh, in the movie verse, like, the, a Transformer turn into, like, two, like, realistic vehicle modes. And. Yeah, he, he appears to have all his car parts here. I'm pretty sure, like, on the CGI, these blades in the back, these, they, like, extend out in the form of his rotor blades in, um, helicopter mode, but... Yeah, so I'm probably not gonna make a helicopter version of him since... I don't know, he looks more, um... He has more car parts on him, and I think helicopter mode just putting in last minute, so... Yeah, uh, I think that's it for Drift right here, um... Yeah, uh, um, I'm still deciding who to make next. Um, I, don't know, I think I'll let you guys choose. Uh, I'm thinking of making either a Galvatron or or a Slag or Slug, whatever the Triceratops like Dinobot is named. So yeah, you could comment below to see which one you want me to make first. Or uh, yeah, uh, I think that's it. Here's uh, Drift from Age of Extinction. Uh, see you guys.